it does with political dissidents. They'll even put them on oxygen and stuff and try to limit bleeding while they do the surgery and then remove the heart and lungs last. Well, now this has come out. And there's video of them talking about it. But they make a little joke. Oh, the baby just falls on the ground. Abortionists call it the ultimate nightmare. They call it uh, basically different terms. But what they do is, if it's a six, seven, eighth, ninth month old baby, the, and, and the surgeons and people blow the whistle in these documentaries. I've aired some clips of them here. They hold the baby up against the cervix. It's through the cervix. I don't want to be gross here, but this is going on, so we're going to medically talk about it. It's a documentary radio show slash TV show. They hold the baby up just touching the woman. And as long as they claim legally the baby never doesn't touch the woman, then technically it's not a born baby, it's a fetus. And they play semantical games and do that. But when they say it hits the ground, under federal and state law, the baby's now got to be saved. Now, before they were selling body parts 20-something years ago, there's a lot of famous people, a black lady, a white lady, I forget their names. We've had one of them on the show before. We've got to get them back on. Who were dug out of dumpsters by pro-lifers when they were seven and eight months old, respectively. One of them had her thigh broken and cut open. She's a blonde-haired lady, so she always limps up to the stage. She's a beautiful woman. Ended up having kids on her own right. She was dug out one hour after she was aborted out of a dumpster. So was the black lady. She was dug out almost a day later out of the dumpster. We've had the blonde lady on. We could never get the black lady on. But you, I, I forget their names. Just Google woman survived abortion. There's a whole bunch of women, not many men. Female babies are a lot tougher than male babies. Any medical doctor uh, will tell you that, especially if they're a Ron Paul type doctor that delivered babies. But this is what they do. And they keep them alive, reportedly, some of these outfits. So we have we have this audio. We have this video. It's up on Infowars.com. Planned Parenthood baby parts vendor, ABR, pays off clinics. They say intact fetuses just fell out. Ha, ha, ha. But the most important clip of the two we have is where they explain under Bush 1 and then the next Bush where they all said, oh, they won't let us have embryos. For medical research, you know, they're just a few cells. No, that's how they legally did it in Congress and fooled the Christian right and everybody, or folks that just think all lives matter, people that have empathy, is they go, oh, we're not killing embryos, but under the classification, a fetus, which is up to nine months old, hasn't left the womb, a baby, but called a fetus, it can be killed and it can be sold, but it's a baby once it's no longer touching the mother. Umbilical cord connected doesn't count. That, 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 once the baby's not touching the mother, once it's come out, once it's been, quote, delivered, it's now a baby under all these weird regulations and laws that dehumanize. So here they are all macabrely admitting this, as usual, slurping wine, sitting around enjoying themselves, uh, in a restaurant, and, and, and we're told scores of more videos uh, are coming out. And they're putting these videos out unedited, three hours long, two hours long, five hours long, six hours long. And then, of course, others like ourselves go in and cut out the actual clips and play the meat, no pun intended, uh, of what's going on here. But black lives matter, cops' lives matter. White lives matter. Hispanic lives matter. Old people's lives matter. Veterans' lives matter. Babies' lives. Everybody's lives matter. And you cannot get the leftist-controlled, communist-controlled, Soros-funded, hateful black Klan groups who are going around calling for killing crackers randomly and killing cops randomly. It's like a double goodie if you kill a white cop for them. You can't get through. I've gone to their events. I've tried to talk to them. I've tried to get David Duke on to explain they're aborting all the black babies, and there's a larger program against everybody. And you just can't reach out to the racial groups because they're all in their own group. They all have their own spiel that they put out that you cannot get past. And so that's fine. I'm here trying to reach out to people who in their hearts 
love innocence, love children, love our veterans, love good police, love innocent people that are killed. When I hear about a cop getting shot cold-bloodedly in the back and I see the video, it makes me physically sick. When I see this poor guy in San Antonio executed by this little dwarf cop, uh, it makes me sick. When I see this cop killed up in Illinois execution style, it makes me sick. I have empathy. When I saw that black woman gunned down in D.C. for being scared of a checkpoint, it made me sick. It was black and white cops shooting her up. But I don't hate all black people because there's some racist black people out there targeting white people. I don't hate all white people because there's some racist white people out there targeting black people. I don't hate all the police because there are some mentally ill ones, some thugs, some gangbanger types, some psychos. They just indicted a cop up in uh, Oklahoma who would pull over women, turn off a squad car camera, reportedly tell them, have sex with me or I'm going to bring you in for your warrants. And he's arguing, well, they agreed to have sex, so it's okay. No, you intimidated them with your power. So you've been indicted. But they have indicted him. And it was the state police that found out and busted him. And that's good. But don't cover it up because then you're aiding and abetting it. Our society is unraveling. The globalists want destabilization. We don't want to go along with what they want. We want to bring unity of liberty and freedom and then recognize the globalist social engineers as the enemy. They're the people poisoning our water with fluoride. They're the ones harvesting our baby's organs. They're the ones putting the veterans on don't treat death list. They're the ones preparing Homeland Security to go after gun owners. They're the ones working with tyrants and funding ISIS. They're the bad guys. They're the problem. They're the premeditated evil. And that's why they want us fighting with each other. Let's go to the first clip. Which one do we have queued up first? I'm sorry I wasn't clear with our great... Okay, so, so, so here they are. Uh, in Los Angeles, this new video, the ninth video, Baby Parts Scandal, focuses on Advanced Bioscience Resources, Inc., the small and secretive company that has harvested and sold fetal body parts at Planned Parenthood clinics longer than any other entity. And here they are. Oh, sometimes they just fall out, and we've got the whole baby. Oh, it's an accident. Doesn't matter you claim it's an accident and it, the baby couldn't be terminated. Now it's a baby because it fell out. And it's a federal crime once a baby is outside the mother to do this, here it is. The whole point is not to have a live birth. Okay. And so the, so the doctors have all, unless it's somebody who has had six pregnancies and six vaginal deliveries. And then just kind of pops yeah, out. <laughs> they put lambs in and she comes in the next morning. And I uh -huh. literally have had um, women come in and they'll go in the OR and they're back out in three minutes. And I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the who put her wow. in the syrups. It just fell out. I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the who put her but then what do you do? Well, there have been clinics that have been indicted. There have been head surgeons that have been indicted around the country. It's one of the most common ways we can indict these people. When their staff admits, no, the baby was alive, they went and put it in a bucket of water. But see, the way they terminate babies now is if you are a preemie, they will shoot you up with vaccines, and they know the baby then quits breathing. The nurses then, under law, fight to resuscitate. They, they give them electro defibrillation, they, they put tubes on their throat, but it's it's bye-bye. They turn blue and die. And we have callers that call in and go, yeah, yeah, my sister had a preemie six months old. They gave him shots, died that day. Baby's fine, give him the shots. And see, they just hide it all medically in plain view like it's no big deal. Let's go to the clip as we go to break where they talk about how they classify them as fetuses, not embryos, so they can still sell their parts. Here it is. The clinic. Because of what we do and because we use fetal tissue, we don't uh -huh. want to, um, we want to be as politically correct as we can. Right, we I know. We don't want a whole lot of people coming in and, you know, slapping yeah. us because, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, you're doing this and you're, you're, yeah. you're getting all these scientific people here then, and they're all agreeing, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. it's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it, right? Like, normally, like, embryonic stem cell research are, like, the big controversial, like, yeah. whatever, yeah. and, like, And you know what the, the, the really to... weird thing is? Embryonic, there's still a lot of controversy about yeah. that, you know? But then fetal kind of got lost in the mix. You know, you have was it ever controversial? I mean, I'm, I'm it was young, never, so I don't know. It what... was never um, 
it was never outlawed. Where uh -huh. during the uh, Bush administration, Bush uh -huh. one, Bush one, it was um, it was no federal funding could go to stem cell research. Or Let's see, but it can go to fetal. See how they played you? See how the Bushes played you? See how it's all a big joke? Oh, they can have babies that are seven months old, chop them up, but not the little embryo. We're going to play the chilling audio of one of these uh, Black Lives Matter radio shows saying, hey, I want to talk about the deputy in Texas. There's going to be more of this. Whites are going to be executed. This is what's being pushed, and we're going to play the clip of Louis Farrakhan a month ago basically saying the same thing. Uh, this would not be happening guaranteed if this had not been green-lighted from the White House to bring this country down. And the fact that they're doing something this reckless means they're going for broke. This is an unprecedented time to be alive. And again, we have babies, black babies, Hispanic babies, white babies, mixed babies, by the millions every year, being dissected, having their body parts stolen, and the government playing games going, oh, ban fetal tissue or, or, or ban embryonic, but don't ban fetal. This is the semantical word games that they play. And I told you that when the Pope first got in a few years ago after they had the coup d'etat inside the Vatican with the Jesuits uh, using the sex scandals that even the Guardian reported was a blackmail operation to bring in Pope Francis. He wants world government. He wants carbon taxes. He wants everything. He's coming here. First Pope ever to lecture Congress and, and travel around the country, basically campaigning for the Democratic Party. He came out and said, Catholics need to stop obsessing so much over abortion. Well, now he's in the New York Times. Today, Pope Francis eases path to absolution from abortion. He has the path. Not Christ. God's not the judge. He, speaking from the cathedra from the big black throne. Is it called ex cathedra? He has the keys to hell and death, not Christ. He was given the keys, he says. And now he will tell you that abortion's okay. Well, it's God that can forgive you. And absolutely, you can be forgiven. In my heart, I know that if you truly repent. But whether you're a Christian or not, this guy, if you read, the Christian doctrine is not Christ. He doesn't forgive. He doesn't sit on the white throne of judgment. He sits on a black throne at the Vatican. Why wouldn't the Vatican have a white throne? I, I just have trouble understanding that. But Pope Francis eases the path to absolution. I absolve you. Pope Francis announced Tuesday that all Roman Catholic priests would be empowered to offer absolution for the sin of abortion during the church holy year of mercy, which begins in December. So, hey, that's basically, hey, don't worry about drinking, say, you know, 10 Hail Marys. Oh, whatever, you cheat on your wife, say 20 Hail Marys. Oh, you killed your baby, say 50 Hail Marys. <laughs> I mean, wow, that is sensational, baby. And I told you, the next shoe is dropping. You're going to see the most wild stuff you've ever seen in your life now. This is it, world government. World famines, wars, banning the word father and mother, boy and girl. The church coming out and endorsing that. The Pope did that three days ago, saying, yes, these are hurtful. And endorsing a, a, a lesbian writer that's basically calling for this. I mean, it's on, folks. It's on. And they used pedophilia and stuff to take over the church. And now they're going to legitimize it now that they've conquered it. And again... This is a sex cult what brought down Rome before in the time of the Caesars. And you can just see the destabilization taking place. I'm going to get to the new incredible video and audio. It's up on Infowars.com. Kill Whites and Cops, Black Lives Matter affiliated radio show calls for race war. It's about to go down. It's open season on killing white people and crackers. And then that'll be open season for mentally ill, hate-mongering white people to go out and you know, you know it'll just be some totally innocent black lady or some innocent black guy coming home from work, some plumber 
or some little kids in their car, and then some crazy meth head white guy is going to spray the vehicle. And, and ugh, I mean, it just and that's why the White House and the Justice Department lets these groups do this. Guarantee they're federal run. And I want to say shame on the FBI, shame on the 